coding made easy. So what's up everybody and welcome to your next Allegro 5 platform tutorial and we are going to continue where we left off. So let's go to our player.cpp. We've added our entity update right here and uh, so that will take care of the all the update stuff in, in the entity update whatever. So l let us so we've we've got this pretty much set up and if we go to our player.cpp we just got to change all the p animations to animation and let's find all of them and for those of you using visual studio you can just click control h and just hide it a whole selection and and like change all of them but i didn't feel like doing that so I've changed all of these and and we, we pretty much got everything set up for the most part. So let us get started on our entity manager dot H. So for our load content, we are going to take in uh sorry. So string to our file name, we are going to take a string to our identifier and a std string for our type for our entity type we have our unload content we have our update which is consists of a allegro event and input manager And we have last but not least our drawing. Wow, I'm like really rusty with typing and with Allegro. Anyway, so we're gonna have to include our entity class and that will include everything that we need. And what we're going to do now is in our public section, oh I said list, we're gonna make a vector of our entities and it's going to be a pointer to it and we will just call it entities and in our private section no pun intended we are going to create our attributes and contents And to be honest, we don't really need to put these within our header files because once we're done using them, we don't need them anymore. So we could we could really, if we wanted to, just create it in load content. That would just save us time from having to put it in unload content. So yeah, let, let's just do that. Let, let's just do that this time. You know what I mean? Let's just try something different. So um, in here we'll say entity manager and we'll have a load content and I don't feel like typing it all out so let's copy it paste that in there we have our unload content we have our update and I don't feel like I don't feel like typing this out again either just switching from uppercase to lowercase is just annoying to me uh, sometimes and we have our entity manager and we have our display okay so we we've got this stuff set up and what we're going to have to do is we're going to include the file manager class and uh, just like with uh, just like with our, with our attributes and stuff, we're just gonna create the instance in here, uh, just because after we're done with load content, we don't really need it anymore. So we'll say file manager load content. Now our file name is in here. Now we're going to make an if statement. We're gonna say that if our ID is equal to this, then we don't pass anything into it. So. Well, first and foremost, we just have to make our attributes or our vectors, sorry. So, std string attributes content. 
contents. Okay, so we pass in our attributes and our contents in there and that's it. And we'll make an else. And there's a better way to handle this, but I'm just trying to get you guys something on this, uh, trying to get to the fun stuff. So might as well not take anything, like make anything longer than it has to be. And we can fix that stuff later. So we have to make it to a C string, make it a C string right there. And, uh, so that's going to yeah handle everything we need so what we're going to do is we're going to loop through all the attributes and in here we are going to be uh creating our entities so what we're going to do is we're going to make an entity type and one thing i forgot to do is if we go to entity.h just make it e uh for any of these methods or whatever just put equal to zero zero just make it a pure virtual function uh just to make it an abstract class just because we don't really need an, to make an instance of the class uh so we'll say entity in there so we'll say if type is equal to player and we'll make one for the enemy later on but if it's equal to a player, then we'll set entity equal to new player. And we've got to include the player class. So we'll set to new player and then we will say that uh, entities dot push back and we will push back our entity. Okay, and then we'll say entities I load content and we will add in our attributes I and our contents I. Okay, so that will pass in our oh, and that's what I forgot. See, I knew I knew I forgot something. So we need to go to our entity.h and we need to make these functions virtual since we will be. Uh, we're gonna need this for polymorphism, so we need to make these virtual. And let me just check how much time I have. Okay, so I have some time. So we're making the virtual, and we're we're overriding them, and so on and so forth. So I think we we've got that part down packed. So we have our vector of entities. We create an entity and we store it in there, and then we call the entities load content method. So in here for unload content we will just loop through it our entities dot size and we will make a call to entities i unload content and then we will delete it the certain entity okay and for our update we will update it the same way so we'll say entities uh, that size and uh, we will say entities I update and we'll pass in the EV and the input and we will draw it the same way now this is a lot to loop through and with computers nowadays uh, computers are very fast so you probably won't see a performance drop but if you really do one thing that you can do is you can draw the entities which are within the view so for example if uh, if the if you have enemies on the other side of the map why are you drawing them you don't need to draw them yet you can start drawing them uh, you can start drawing them later you can start drawing them at the beginning if you want if it doesn't create a performance decrease but if you really want to optimize your code then you can start drawing the player and stuff whenever you need to, when the player is in the vicinity of the other player anyways so we've got that uh, entity stuff drawn uh, that stuff down packed so now what we're going to do is we're gonna to go to our gameplay dot H and we will include entity manager Okay, so we will change this to entity manager and 
what we're gonna do is go to gameplayscreen.cpp and there's a few things that we've got to change so in our load content method we have to put in our file name so that's load slash player dot text our ID we have none and our type is a player type okay so that is gonna load it in and we can call player dot load content player dot draw and I want to finish this tutorial off now but I probably will not be able to but let's see how far we can get so let's go to our tile.h layer.h and map.h or actually you know what I'll do this in the next tutorial so I'm just gonna end it off there cuz I don't want to make it too long uh, so we will finish off this stuff in the next tutorial so thanks for watching don't forget to comment and subscribe and bye for now